Hi there, Darren Bansoy from Trekking the Planet. We're here in Lake Idakol in northern Uzbekistan. We've been visiting the cities of Tashkent, Samarkand, Bukhara, and Kiva. Let's take a look at what we've been doing. Uzbekistan is surrounded by Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Afghanistan. It's approximately the size of Spain or California. Tashkent, Samarkand, and Bukhara were all on the old Silk Road to China. We visited these cities as well as Kiva in the west. Many of the old buildings have been restored in Uzbekistan. To get to Kiva, we needed to cover 275 miles, or 440 kilometers, of hot and dusty road. But the trip was well worth it, as we were rewarded with an old city with 12th century buildings. It's no wonder that Kiva is known as the museum city. After visiting Tashkent in Samarkand, we took a break from the big cities and visited Naratu Kizilkam Biosphere Reserve. We stayed with the family here. After Naratu, we ventured still further north to the Kizilkam Desert and stayed in a yurt camp run by a young family. While far north, we had the opportunity to visit a tiny village in Yangi Kazgan, not far from the Kazakh border. It turns out that all of the residents here speak Kazakh as their first language rather than Uzbek. We were introduced to the village elder and had the opportunity to ask him a few questions. As before, we needed to employ the two-translator technique. Our guide translated my questions from English to Uzbek, and then a second translator translated my message again to Kazakh. I first asked him what his occupation was when he was younger. We learned that he raised cattle, a kind of cowboy. We further learned that back then he didn't stay in one location, but instead roamed the desert in search of pasture for his animals. Rather than a permanent homestead, he lived in a yurt, which he moved as needed. He wish you everywhere, which country you will be. 
During World War II, he told us that conditions were very difficult. Since he was a young man at the time, he remained in Uzbekistan, but many of the older men left to fight, leaving him to support those who remained. At the end of the interview, I thanked the elder and then heard my words translated to Ratma, which means thank you. Well, that's just about it. Until next time, safe trekking. Shai Khalum